The worst game of Mitch Trubisky's nascent NFL career ended Sunday with him running 40 yards to try to make a tackle. For the 16th time in the Bears' 313 loss to the Eagles, the rookie quarterback had failed to connect with his receiver. His final pass was deflected and intercepted, and as an insult Trubisky had to help chase down the defender to prevent the score from being even worse. Adversity, losing and failure are great motivators, Trubisky says. In those terms, he and the Bears have had four straight motivational games. So he reviewed the Eagles game video earlier this week with a critical eye. Neither Trubisky nor offensive coordinator Dowell Logans liked what he saw. I had bad footwork in the game, Trubisky said. Usually that leads to bad accuracy and timing. A lot of throws in that game are throws that I make on time. And bad footwork and bad timing caused a couple of throws to be off, Logans attributed. Some of the passing game's disjointedness to receivers running poor routes. But he also came down on True Bisky's mechanical deficiencies. He got caught bouncing a little bit, Logan said. It was a tendency he had in college, and we talked to him a lot about keeping his shoulders and head still. He did get hoppy a little bit. There were some throws that were errant because of that, and that's something we're going to keep working. On, that has been True Bisky's challenge this week ahead of a more modest challenge Sunday against the 110 49ers. The Bears are 25 since True Bisky became the starter, and Sunday's blowout was a low point. He was 17 of 33 for 147 yards and two interceptions. Good for a season low passer rating of 38.3. True Bisky was also sacked twice. That said, there's no shame in losing to the Eagles, owners of the NFL's best record and a team that will beat better opponents en route to greater heights. But now True Bisky has a great opportunity and some inherent urgency to show growth over the final five games of the season. The injury depleted 49ers are up first, with the pass defense that ranks 25th in the NFL in yards allowed per pass. After this week, the Bears play two other games against teams with losing records Bengals and Browns. Trubisky is hunting for winning moments that validate his processes and build confidence. That resumed this week with a focus on his mechanics. Logans was asked if Trubisky reverted to his tendencies at North Carolina. I don't really feel we need to give him an excuse on that, Logans said. The good thing is it gives him something to work really hard at this week, and he knows it's a problem. He knows when he comes to the sideline after he misses a throw, because he's an accurate guy. Why? It happened. Logan's appreciated Trubisky acknowledging the problem. That's the first step to cleaning it up. And while good mechanics must become ingrained in Trubisky's muscle memory, there can be instances during games when Logan's reminds Trubisky about fundamentals. Hey, go get a completion right here, Logan's said, think about your footwork. Make sure you're going through the right progression. Make sure your A is on the right spot. Those things we can help him with in-game. And it's going to be a process. Part of that process is Trubisky continuing to command the offense. As he grows more comfortable and the game slows down, his natural accuracy should resurface. Another conclusion evident from reviewing the Eagles game the offensive problems extended well. Beyond Trubisky, from blocking breakdowns to multiple drops by receivers to imprecise route running, the blowout loss was a collective failure. During practice this week there has been an emphasis on fine-tuning the details. Trubisky and his receivers stay after practice as usual, working to perfect the depth of routes, timing of passes and precision of ball placement. As a group, we've been working so damn hard, receiver Marcus Whedon said. It's so frustrating that it's not coming together. We've had so many ups and downs, a good game, then a terrible game. It's just being consistent with it, staying on top of the details where there are mistakes, and last game there were a ton, that work keeps True Bisky going. There are winnable games ahead, moments that must be seized, really grooving our timing, me getting my footwork down and just doing exactly what I'm coached to do, he said. That'll make for better results this Sunday. R. Campbell at ChicagoTribune.com Twitter at Rich.
Campbell column it's time Mitch Trubisky reminded us why. Bears gave 49ers a draft haul. Josh Bellamy argument with Trey McBride was just a little brotherly love column receiver service perfect symbols for this Bears season.